Narcissists will betray you in the end because they're so shameful of themselves. Welcome to another video. I wish everyone a pleasant day. I really appreciate you subscribing to my channel. Any support is highly appreciated. Today, I'd want to discuss the deepest forms of shame that narcissists experience and the strategies they employ to hide it. Truthfully, we've all got to cope with our fair share of embarrassment. I'm saying this in the hopes that you'll all come away with a better grasp of shame in all its forms. Narcissists, on the other hand, steal the show because shame is so central to their existence. What is it that you most regret? Before we can answer it, we need to determine what we mean by shame. Let's separate the two commonly mixed up feelings of shame and guilt now. The pit in our bellies forms any time we make a wrong decision. On the other hand, the feeling of shame comes about when we realize that we are at fault or have failed somehow. To put it another way, admitting guilt is like admitting you did something wrong, while admitting shame is like admitting you caused the situation. From this perspective, it's not so much what we do as who we are that determines whether or not we feel shame. As with guilt, shame is something that only the individual who carries it can see as a problem. Narcissists certainly don't feel remorse when they lie, cheat, or manipulate. Why? Because it makes them happy to do so. The internalized shame is something they keep to themselves, though. It is because they despise the wicked, vile creature they have become that narcissists experience such intense feelings of shame and insecurity. They take extraordinary precautions to hide who they really are. This is because they have internalized a false notion that they cannot find love or acceptance by being who they truly are. Pride prevents narcissists from sharing their feelings of shame. That's why they never once went there or made an effort to face that shame head-on. If they choose to ignore the problem, they won't have to take any action to solve it. In the same vein, they stay away from anything or anyone that could make them face the shame of who they are. They have realized that the best way to deal with the shame is to bury it as deeply as possible. They have to put on a show of bravado and self-congratulation and all sorts of other pretenses because they are trying to hide the one thing they would rather not have exposed, their true nature. They were fixated on projecting the image of the perfect companion they felt they deserved, as though they've completely internalized their role. To ensure that no one pays any notice to them, they go to tremendous measures to conceal their true identities and the crushing despair with which they live. Feelings of worthlessness are a continuous companion for individuals who have to fight with the terrible shame they endure. They are aware of their difficulties yet refuse to acknowledge them. Thus, they seek solace in building a life of lies and dishonesty and disregarding the reality of their surroundings. This is why they continuously put up a front. Because of this, they disguise their genuine, filthy selves by imitating the personas of others or making fun of them. Even though they were broken, dark, and miserable within, they would still try to improve themselves by engaging in all this self-help behavior in an attempt to appease their ego and false self. Since external appearances are of paramount importance to narcissists, they will frequently go to great lengths to hide any emotional pain or anguish they may be suffering internally. They are so down on life on the inside that they have given up hope. As a result, they are misleading not just themselves but also the people around them, which is why, despite their wealth, they still feel so down about themselves. The shame persists despite their many credentials and networks. After being humiliated, no amount of money can bring you back to your former self-esteem. They keep piling on more and more disgrace as time goes on. This sense of guilt makes them feel terrible about themselves, and it's this guilt that's making them so anxious. The narcissist's inability to cope with shame underlies all of their other insecurities. Restoring a narcissist's sense of shame can be as simple as humiliating them in public. Breaking up with a narcissist may leave you feeling humiliated and guilty. Life changes, such as becoming older or receiving constructive criticism, might trigger inferiority complexes. It makes sense that some people would go to tremendous lengths to hide embarrassing information from others. This emotion arises when one refuses to accept who they are. Who in their right mind would knowingly put themselves through that? Narcissists are too busy with denial and act up to realize there are better ways to deal with their issues. 
Their inability to rehabilitate is large because they spend their entire lives shifting blame and searching elsewhere for solutions. Instead of taking responsibility, they place blame on others. Admitting that something is amiss, that one is not flawless or okay, and confronting that darkness is the only route out of one's inner prison. They've lost the ability to make us believe their new personas are authentic to them. They are cornered and have nowhere to go. We are aware of the reality lurking beneath the surface looks. If they are deceiving themselves, then it is clear that they have a problem. There is no one else they can count on for assistance or rescue, though. Sadly, many people behave this way because they can't bring themselves to be honest with themselves. Realizing that they, and only they, are accountable for any improvements or assistance that may be needed. Instead of facing their greatest dread and shame, they are trapped in an endless cycle of denial, suppression, and projection. The deepest shame they feel comes from the fact that they are ashamed of who they actually are. We can't deny the fact that we've all felt shame at some point in our lives. Although everyone has experienced shame at some point, Narcissists frequently bottle up their feelings of shame and never let them out. They refuse to face their difficulties or take responsibility for their terrible actions. They refuse to reform their dishonest ways and instead choose to ignore society altogether. And a lot of their envy is rooted in deep-down guilt. The employment of narcissism as a protective mechanism against shame is widespread. People who suffer from crippling feelings of shame may seek external praise as a way to mask their low self-esteem. You can't judge a book by its cover. The inside is filthy. There isn't a single one of us who hasn't crossed paths with a narcissist. Their narcissism makes them boring and self-centered, making them difficult to be around as friends or acquaintances. Although it may help us feel more sympathetic, knowing the depth of their shame will not change the way we engage with them. All right, that's all for today. I hope that the information provided is useful to you. Leave your thoughts, questions, and concerns about this here. We eagerly await the chance to read them. If you liked this video and want to see more like it, please subscribe and turn on bell notifications. Thank you very much for taking the time to view this.